it's your boy Ace here, and welcome to After Dudes Delight. Um, <laughs> y'all already hear me laughing because this this match right here was one of the funniest matches I've ever seen, man. Like, not the funniest match, but it, it's up there, man. It's like top five funniest matches I've ever seen, bro. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be this funny, bro. This match was absolutely hilarious, bro. Um... <laughs> So, we had this triple threat match, man, for the U.S. title, man, between Logan Paul, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. So, this is the first of two parts, because I'm going to talk about the Randy Orton part with, um, with old boy, uh, I Show Speed, bro. I'm going I'm to I'm go over that, um, uh, that little part right there in the next video. But, let's just get to how the match went, man, um, uh, towards the end here, man. So, let's pick it up right here where Kevin Owens went after Paul, who hit him with the brass knuckles twice. So, you know how Logan Paul is trying to use those brass knuckles, you know what I'm saying? Paul picked up Orton and wound up for another brass uh, knuckles punch. But Orton dropped him with the RKO. And then Orton was too woozy to go over uh, to go for the cover. Orton recovered and picked up Paul's brass knuckles, which he handed to the referee. Orton backed into the corner. Randy Orton didn't want to use the weapon because Randy Orton is the weapon. Uh, that's what Corey Gray said. And then Orton set up for a punk kick, but the bottle mascot pulled uh, Paul to ringside. And the bottle man revealed himself to be YouTube personality I named I Show Speed, who's a very funny dude, by the way, uh, if you haven't seen him on YouTube. Orton ended up hitting, uh, hitting the mascot with an RKO on the table, broadcast table. Paul shoved Orton into the ring, posted in, back inside the ring. Paul went for the top rope move that or Orton avoided, and then Owens hit Paul with a pop-up power bomb, and then dropped Orton with a stunner and covered him for a near fall. Um, Owens went for a pop-up power bomb on Orton, who countered into an RKO, and then Paul threw Orton out of the ring and then hit Owens with the top rope frog splash and then pinned him, and that was all she wrote uh, for Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, who. Didn't win this uh, U.S. title. I thought Randy Orton. I had Randy Orton winning. And I said, you know what? I almost changed my pick to Kevin Owens winning because they had Sami Zayn come out for him before he made his interest. I was like, oh, snap. They're about to do Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn winning this weekend. Uh, both of the the uh, mid-card title, uh, major mid-card title. So that, that's pretty, that, that would have been pretty interesting. So, But Logan Paul got it done, man. He is still your U.S. champion. And shout out to Logan Paul, by the way. Uh, he celebrated by having one of the drinks after the match, which was uh, hilarious, too. Shout out to Logan Paul. If, if you listen to my video right now, I want you to do something if you're still hating on Logan Paul. Please change. Please change, bro. And the reason why I want you to change, if, you're, if you've been a hater on, uh, of Logan Paul, you should really stop hating on the dude. And I'm going to tell you why you should stop hating on the dude. The dude is actually really good in that damn ring. When he's here, he actually works hard. I He's been more than a celebrity, bro. He actually knows how to fucking wrestle and put on a really good match. Um, He's one of the few celebrities that I can take seriously because he actually does wrestle good. You know, I guess the only bad thing about him is he's kind of like, a, it feels like he's like a part-time wrestler because he's not always there year-round, but... Um, but Logan Paul brings it every single time, bro. And he deserves to get the rub, you know, um, he, cause he does, like I said, he does a good job in that ring, bro. And people need, at, at some point, the people who be hating on him need to really start like respecting what he does. If you respect pro wrestling, like you probably think you do, then you need to respect Logan Paul, man. You know? You need to respect Logan Paul because Logan Paul really brings it, bro. And I've been I've been really impressed with that kid, man. That kid has definitely, you know, he's been more than just a, a YouTube personality businessman, man. He's been actually a really good pro wrestler. Um, he's done his thing, man. He's done his thing, man. You gotta give him credit, bro. You gotta give him credit, man. At some point, you just gotta you gotta you gotta forget all of that, bro, and just and just. Get him in his due. You don't gotta like the dude. Just give him his due. You know what I mean? Just give him his due. Um, I thought Randy Orton was gonna win. Another thing with Kevin Owens, there is a money in the bank will be in Toronto. If they want to do, if they want to give Kevin Owens a title, um, uh, maybe to get it off of Logan Paul, that'd be the spot. I think the doing in Toronto will be the spot. I think that'd be. A better spot for Owens to get the title, man, uh, in his home country. So if they're gonna do something with that. Maybe they'll do that uh, for Money in the Bank. But Logan Paul's probably gonna wait to Cleveland because I think he's from Cleveland, right? So he's probably gonna wait 
they're probably gonna wait until SummerSlam to do something with uh, Logan Paul. So we'll see what happens, man. But go ahead and get this video like, share, subscribe. Let's talk about iShow Speed in the next video. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. After news tonight.